Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to this account Chinese series from two US dollar to twenty thousand US dollar. Of course, you guys know I started from scratch again from two US dollar. Even though I was already up above thirty US dollar from the previous one I was doing, but because I want to carry you guys along, I decided to start again from two US dollar. And this week I was able to move it from two US dollar to ten US dollar, or just one single trade that I took on Wednesday. But on Thursday there was a reversal in the market, and I'm going to show you guys what happened that Thursday and what made that reversal occurred in the market because we are not expecting that reversal in the market what i had in mind is that we, we are definitely going to take out the previous day's high on the US. let me show you guys what i'm talking about on the chart okay so what i will do right now is take a turn off this my indicator right now because i'm not placing a trade i only use this indicator when i want to engage on my trade entry right so so these are my trading days on the chart all right i can turn on this indicator now because i want to show you guys the days now this is my first trade of the week that is this Tuesday here. Okay, I took the sale on Euro US dollar on that two dollar account, and then I was able to get about 30 pip. Okay, 30 pip that was that is three US dollar. Okay, and then I saw the way the market was reacting during New York session. This is New York session. You can see how price came back, compressed back into this range, and then again came again, compressed back. Then I knew that this thing may not be possible because originally my take profit was this level here. You can see that was the place the market closed for the week. Okay. So my intention was that, okay, if we have a sell to this downside, to this level, to form the lower, to form, to form the low of the week, then we are going to have a very nice bullish week for the rest of the week like this, keep swelling to the upside. All right, so that's what I had in mind because obviously I think that this, this, this is the bullish expansion. This is the bullish expansion for price to come back to form this low of the week. And then you can see how nice this will have ended up okay and then my first target for the week was this high here okay that was our target on that trade on euro usd on wednesday last week okay so that is this high right here all right so what happened actually is that the market was unable to get to this high and i don't know why the market was unable to get to this high because obviously if you are if you had a bullish week the market must obviously take out the previous week high or take out the previous week low now this week price action is very very much different because it was unable to take out the previous week high and also unable to take out the previous week low so what that actually means is that next week we may still have a bullish move for this euro usd but i've not completed my mind because i need to do a top analysis or weekly analysis that i'm going to share to you guys on this channel all right so yesterday price action on friday i saw this movement this little movement right here so i placed a minor buy on that same account but i didn't post it because this is a very very risky trade because this means i am anticipating a reversal and to anticipate this reversal it's going to take a lot for the market to anticipate this reversal and take out all this high here so what i'm trying to do is that i want to make sure that i post only safe entry for you guys on that telegram channel on my twitter page all right so i don't want to post this kind of trade for you guys to take now if there's going to be a bullish continuation for the week then obviously there must be a market structural break on this lower time frame on this one hour lower time frame that means price need to break out this high up that means price need to break out this high of Thursday price action. Now, if price need to break out this high of Thursday price action, that means there's going to be a break in market structure on this one hour time frame. And that means price need to take out this high of Thursday price action. And that's one of the reasons why I took a trade on Friday buying Euro USD. I couldn't post that trade for you guys to take because that is a very risky trade anticipating smart money reversal because it takes a lot to anticipate smart money reversal. So that's why I didn't post that trade on Friday because buying Euro USD at this point is very, very risky. I like to post all this signal that I know that is very very safe for you guys to trade like this Thursday price at like this Thursday trade you can see we had a nice buy going to the New York session and then that news came out and then pushed price to the downside so at this point I don't trust this move yet so next week we are still going to continue trading on that account on that two USD account so if you have not funded your two USD account please Follow the instruction I gave on the previous video on how to fund this two US dollar account. And that instruction actually states that before you can fund your two US dollar account, please make sure you have reserved extra 10 US dollar that you will be using as backup while you trade on that two US dollar account. Because your first trade on that two US dollar account is the risk. Okay, you are risking everything. So if that two US dollar gets blown out, then you transfer another two US dollar from this 10 US dollar to like that is how I usually do it. That is my template of trading a small account. I always have a, a I always have a wallet that I keep my original balance then I transfer money from that wallet to the trading account I will be using so in case that first trading account get blown out then I transfer another money then if I have one or two winning trade or on that trading account then there's no need for me guys there's no need for me to worry again on blow that account so just for me to keep 
compound it, compound it, that account. So if you have not watched that previous video, please watch that previous video. And one of the most important things is that how I just send these signals on my Telegram channels. Okay. So like as I told you guys, I always send the signal with just screenshot. Not that, I, not that I will tell you guys buy or sell Euro USD. So most of you guys have not actually followed that instruction, and then most of you already complained that you blew up your first two US dollar account. So I don't really, I, I don't really reply anybody that is commenting on my DM that you blew up your first two US dollar account because I already told you guys. You don't just this two years you don't just start with two years dollar and expect to have a winning trade on that two years dollar although individual experience matters okay so my experience cannot be compared to your experience okay so that i didn't blow the first two years dollar does not necessarily mean you are not going to blow your first two years dollar so what this actually means is that have a reserve account that you can easily transfer the money from and much have it at the back of your mind that any money you are putting into the market you are is the money that you can afford to lose so don't be emotional when you blow up your account all right